Hi everybody, I'd like to share with you a strategy that a good friend of mine, Tom Branch, shared with me and in the spirit of Active Rain, he's allowed me to turn around and share this strategy for generating seller leads using Facebook advertising. So we're, we're here on the, the Facebook advertising page and that's facebook.com forward slash advertising and we need to be logged into our own Facebook account, which I am, and we're going to start by clicking create an ad. And the very first thing Facebook is going to ask us is, what do you hope to accomplish with this particular ad? And in our case, what we're hoping to accomplish is to drive interested potential sellers or people at least that are interested in figuring out the value of their home. And some percentage of those people are doing that because they might be interested in selling. But we want to drive them to a landing page or a squeeze page that very easily and succinctly allows us to grab the important information that we need from them. So we're going to do clicks to website. That's gonna be the option we select. And then we have to figure out what website or what page on our website do we want to drive them to. The page that I'm gonna use for this example is a landing page that I created using a company called listings2leads.com. And they've, they've even got a free 14 day trial where you could, you could play around with this thing and, and kind of get a feel for it. But this landing page, because I'm going to the ad I'm going to set up is going to be based in Seattle. This landing page, you know, for somebody that was in, in my target market, and we're going to show you how to target here in a little bit, but somebody was in my target market, when they landed on this page, they'd feel pretty comfortable, right? They'd get an idea that this page was, you know, particular to Seattle. They'd understand, you know, they'd know the, the iconic Space Needle shot there. And and, and they would be comfortable on this page. The other thing that this page does, and one of the reasons they call it a squeeze page or a landing page, but particularly a squeeze page, is there is nothing distracting them on this page from what I want them to accomplish, which is essentially to give me their property address so that I can give you give them a valuation on their home. There is no squirrel, like there's nothing else on this page to distract them from it doing what I hope them to do. So I created this page again, probably took me about eight minutes and most of it was time spent getting my image and, and getting it in the right size. So now that I have the page that I want to land on, and let's take a look at this page for a second because when somebody gets here, if they were to come here and give me their address, right, so they, they could type it in all the way or as they start to type, it actually looks for addresses all across the country uh, that are you know particular to that address. But when they hit go, here, like I didn't ask them for their name or their phone number, but right now I have them as a lead. They have essentially on the back end of listings to lead captured that address. And so at the very least, if they decided not to do anything on this second page where I'm asking for name, email, phone number, and I ask kind of a couple of other questions in here, and we can adjust what this second page looks like. This is the default second page, but I, I already have them, right? Like I have their address and a real aggressive agent, you know, I'm going to get something in the mail to them. I'm maybe going to do the CMA and show up at their house and knock on their door and say, hey, somebody in your house was on Facebook and wanted to, to find out a value for the home. And so I did this CMA for you. But the idea is if they give us this extra information, great. All we needed them to do was to fill in their address. And we've essentially created, you know, a prospect for our business of somebody that's interested in finding out how much their home is worth. So once we have our landing page, again, listings to lead, it's a great solution to be able to do this. I need to tell Facebook that's where I want my clicks to go. And what Facebook is going to do at that point is they are going to pull in some kind of an image off of the page. However, it might not be optimized for the exact kind of dimensions that Facebook suggests that we create our images for. So I'm going to come in here and upload a different image. So I've got my Seattle hero image for my Facebook ad. I've got it set out at about 600 by 315 pixels. And you can see what it's going to look like and how it's going to more fully display on the ad versus what they just pulled off of my website. So I'd actually get rid of that one. And you can upload up to six images in here. If you're going to do this, you know, and, and really be serious about it, uh, take advantage of all six images because what Facebook will do is they will start testing your your ad with the different images and as time moves on they will kind of take pulse of which image is helping the ad perform the best which image is helping to get the most click-throughs you know you can do a google search for 
um, you know, great Facebook ad images or something like that. And you're going to find people writing about and talking about, you know, what are some of the best things to do in your Facebook ads? Like I use this Seattle hero image because it, it relates to the people that I'm trying to target. I know that like pictures of babies or pictures of smiling women have some of the highest click through rates kind of continually on Facebook ads. Sorry, fellas, I guess our smiling faces aren't quite as enticing. So, you know, but take advantage of all six images. So once I've got some images in here, the next thing that I need to do as I scroll down here on the page is I need to connect my ad to a Facebook page. So most of you guys, you know, either have like a page for your, your business or some kind of a local page maybe that you've created, but you need to have some type of a, a Facebook business page. So I'm going to use my Bob Stewart page. And so really all that does is that becomes this little kind of tile up here that lets the person know who's sponsoring this ad. And now we actually, when we connect the, the Facebook business page, we start to see the ad take shape over here on the right. And we can look at what it's going to look like in the news feed. We can look at what it's going to look like in a mobile news feed. And then we can also look at what it's going to look like in the right hand column. So let's go back to the, the full news feed ad. And what we want to do is we want to give it a headline. And so this headline is going to, you can kind of see it's pulling this information off of my web page, but I'm going to make it a little bit better. And so you can kind of see down here, that's where my headline is. And kind of the, the idea behind this campaign is we want to try to identify places in our market where home prices are up. So when Tom shared this idea with me, he's an agent in Plano, Texas, home prices in Plano were up about 13% over last year. And so if I can find, like if, if in Seattle home prices are up, let's say home prices are up 11%, right? So I might say home prices up in Seattle. Okay, my text is going to be this portion that shows up at the top of the hero image. So home prices are up 11% over the same time last year. I'm wondering what your house is worth boom right so again we're kind of impressing upon this idea that home prices are up um, are you wondering what your house would look if you guys are in a market where home prices aren't up a bunch but maybe in the last year a lot of people have come out from being underwater like that might be a good way to position the ad you know last month in phoenix seventy-five thousand homeowners uh, you know returned to a positive equity position they now don't owe more than their home is worth. You know, something like that to kind of get people interested. Like, ooh, is that me? Am I one of those people that I'm no longer underwater? Am I one of those people who where my house price is up, you know, 10% over what it was last year? So the idea is we're, we're kind of making statements, the true statements, but statements that could pique somebody's interest and get them interested in finding out what their Seattle home is worth. So the next little option here, you could have a call to action button so I could come in here and say something like learn more and I'll put a little button here and then the last little bit here for the advanced options I can actually get a free home valuation for your Seattle property we've sold you know hundreds of homes this year and know the market Right? But you'll see where that's coming up down here. And so all of these kind of become like the image becomes something they can click on. This becomes something they can click on once we actually launch the ad. All right. So that's our ad. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to target it. So we've dealt, dealt with what's the ad going to say. It's going to have something to do with home prices being up in a specific area. Okay. We're going to have a landing page that kind of relates to that area. It's very simple. It's got one box they can fill out. The second page then has you know, some additional information we'd love to have about them. Now let's target this thing. Who's going to see our ad? So we're talking about home prices being up in Seattle. Duh, right? We're going to target it to people in Seattle. But the default option here, and you'll notice that goes from being however many millions of hundreds of millions of people there are on Facebook down to the 1.9 million that are in or within 25 miles of Seattle, but my ad is only geared towards people in Seattle. If I wanted to do an ad for people in a neighboring town like Bellingham or Kirkland or Redmond, I would do an ad specific to Bellingham or Kirkland or Redmond. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to take this little drop down and I'm going to say Seattle. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to take off the people that are 25 miles outside of Seattle or 10 miles outside. It's just going to give me the people in Seattle. So what we did is we went from a reach of 1.9 million people down to a reach of about a million. That's great. But there's still some other things we can, we can do to funnel this down even further and really get us people that are going to be interested in our ad. The first thing I might do is look, not a lot of folks in Seattle under 18 buying houses, so I might do that. And that's going to filter it out. It filtered out a few tens of thousands of people. Okay. And, and really, that's the only ones that I'm going to drill down on. There's a bunch in here. But that's the only kind of obvious ones. The less obvious are here under more demographics. And under more demographics, there is actually a section for home ownership. And what I can do is come in here and click home ownership, which will give me the field of home ownership. And then I can select in here. What do, who do I want to target? I want to target homeowners, right? And what that does then is that took me from a million or whatever we were at before that down to about 340,000 people. And so Facebook has all kinds of data sources out there that they're pulling in information from. And one of them has allowed them to identify for me the 340,000 people in Seattle over the age of 18 who are homeowners. At this point, that could be all that I want to do with my ad. But let's say I wanted to get a little bit more creative. Let's say I, I wanted to target my ad at just people who worked for Microsoft. I could come in here and say, work, employer, Microsoft, boom. And now I could find the 6,600 people that work for Microsoft, that live in Seattle, that have identified, that Facebook has identified as being a homeowner. I could run some really specific ads to those people, right? Obviously, I'd want to come up here and change some of my ad copy and make it, you know, use the word Microsoft in here, make it a little bit more specific to them, okay? But there's a ton of cool stuff that I can do in this demographics to target certain types of people. Maybe I only wanted to target, you know, people that have high incomes. So I could come in here and say, you know, I just over 100, um, and, and I can actually add multiples in here. So I'm basically looking for anybody from 100 to 125 or over 125, Right? And again, that took me from 6,600 people down to 1,960 people. But this is still 1,960 homeowners in Seattle who work for Microsoft who are over the age of 18. Right, We can get really creative and cool and really target it down to a specific audience. The last thing I'll need to do here then is come in here, kind of set my budget. So let's say I wanted, I'm willing to spend like five bucks a day. I'm always going to suggest that you bid for clicks. Okay, bidding for impressions, if nobody ever clicks on your ad, you can still rack up some decent bills. Obviously, the more specific you get with your target audience, the less that would rack up because less people are, are inclined to see it. But bid for clicks, okay? And, and you know, you could manually set your bid price, right? They give you like a suggested bid range. I would just leave it to automatically optimize the clicks. And, and it's going to be somewhere in this range, right? And look... I did a webinar with a guy named Jeremiah Taylor. He, he really pays attention to the analytics of this stuff. He knows that in his market in Tucson, for about every 14 clicks he gets, he's getting a seller lead right now. So, you know, hey, that would be somewhere about, you know, between seven and, and $9 is what he's going to end up with. He just come in here and place his order. And as long as, you know, if he's got his credit card connected to Facebook, if you don't, that'll be the next screen, right? But, but we're essentially away. We've got an ad out there now that has an awesome landing page, okay? It's, it's kind of playing to people's sensibilities, right? Ooh, wait, is my house worth 11% more than it was last year? Or whatever the message may be. And it's targeted to a very specific audience. I've talked to a lot of agents around the country who have a ton of success with this method for generating seller leads using Facebook advertising.